morning, Center Hill. Today is Thursday, January 19th, and it's National Popcorn Day, so go out and join us at Popcorn. And MTV starts now. My name is Lily and here are your announcements. Tomorrow is the deadline for the ACT late registration, so make sure that you're fully signed up for it. It's the week of Winterfest and today's theme is Athletes vs. Mathletes, but if you forgot to participate, don't worry, you still have one more day to join in. Tomorrow is Winter Wonderland, so show up to school wearing all white. This past weekend, our Java Club hosted their Showings of the Giver, a story of a young boy in a dystopian society that is tasked with containing all the memories of his people. I got an inside look as to some of the decisions that went into the production of the play during my interview with Miss Cruddle. What went into this, your decision making when it comes to the choosing of the play this year? Hmm, I can do that. Um, so last year, as, as you well know, we did, a, um, we did a variety show with a bunch of different kinds of shows in it. We did three different one-act shows. One of them was called Inside and it was a more intense, um, less comedic show. And all of the students in theater said, we want something that is not so much comedy. Like, we don't want it to be funny, we want it to be more intense. Well, there are not a ton of shows like Inside. <laughs> um, and Inside itself is actually for film anyway, and we adapted it for the stage. And so I looked for something that would be appropriate for high school students, but mm. also would be something not so slapstick and more serious. And so that's where I kind of found the giver to be the best of what they wanted. Not so scary, but still, still good. This year, uh, there were shows starring understudies. Tell us about some of the characters in the play and how those qualities went into your casting process. So these characters did have some very intense, not only like the volume of lines that they had, um, but also emotions that went into who those characters were and how they developed throughout the show. And so finding actors to play those roles was interesting um, when it comes to finding someone who not only can memorize things well, but also who can bring forth what they need for the character. Um, I'm extremely grateful to have um, actresses like Madeline Patterson, like Joyce Stubbs, um, who is our Jonas and our giver, um, because both of them, not only are they able to um, memorize all the lines, I mean, they stay on the stage the entire time. It is a very high stakes show because there's no time to look over your script or do anything like that. They really have to know what they're doing. They also can bring um, life to these characters and intense emotion because it's not this funny, goofy show where you're looking for audience participation, where they're laughing and bringing more intensity from their reactions. You are really stepping up to bring that. And so with the characters that we have here, um, I was looking for individuals who could bring these characters to life in a way that didn't depend on even each other, but could um, bring intensity in a different way. And so I think that we really found that with this, with this cast in general. Here's your breakfast, lunch menu, and weather report.
Happy birthday to Jamie Foreman and Marcus Jones. Have a great day, y'all, and I hope y'all have the bestest birthday. Here's what's happening at the Hill. Today, wrestling is heading to Tupelo for their meet starting at 5.30. Tomorrow, basketball is playing against DeSoto Central at home starting at 4. So try and come out with all your school spirit and cheer on your Mustangs. That is it for today, everyone. So make sure you check the school website for more announcements, scholarship opportunities, and upcoming events. As always, here's your quote of the day. Let yourself be silently drawn by the stronger pull of what you really love. By Rumi. And finally, as always, don't forget to smash that like button, hit the bell so you don't miss an episode, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us on Twitter. And hey, if you haven't already, check out our TikTok. And have a great day, Center Hill, and stay safe.